must also be careful how we then begin to create this impression that media freedoms are under attack in Ghana. An attack on a journalist, mm -hmm. as terrible as it is, as condemnable as it is, as we ask the agencies to deal with it, should not now be spun into, for example, some of these narratives that uh, you begin to see all over the place. Which narratives oh, will that be? I'm coming. Some of these narratives that you begin to see all over the place that media freedoms in general are under attack here in Ghana. And I think that we should be able to deal with the issues on a specific basis and bring resolution to them. Press freedom, technically defined, cannot be said to be under attack in Ghana. President Akufuado is the one on whose watch the Right to Information Bill, which is now an act, which is what I think in recent times advances the course of media practice. This bill that had been on the table for nearly 20 years, it is on his watch that has been passed and assented to. Mm -hmm. It is on his watch that government for the first time is putting in place what we call the Media Capacity Enhancement Program. Mm -hmm. We had the privilege of inviting you, my colleague Israel Lai, et cetera, to be on the platform and to help us shape it mm -hmm. so that we can support media work in this country. It is on his watch that the coordinated mechanism for the safety of journalists is being rolled out with the support of the GGA, GIBA, and everybody. So if there's anybody who is working to assist, push forward the frontiers of media practice in Ghana, I think we can give President Akufuado credit for it. It is true, however, that we have observed or we have seen a reportage of attacks on journalists in recent years. That is a fact. And that fact we put out there without necessarily saying that it means that press freedom is under attack or that President Akufuado is attacking the media. I think we should state that fact and we can interrogate the whys and how to cure.